Happy anniversary, sweetheart. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. <laughs> mm. Come here, you. <clears throat> Oh, I was hoping for more of a lion. I plonked them in front of the Lego movie. Again? Yeah. Am I a bad dad? <laughs> <laughs> if it means more time in bed, you're an excellent dad. Mm. Once we've dropped them at Mum's, you and me are going to have a day together. Just the two of us. It feels weird not going to work. Mm. How could I make it? That's weird. <laughs> 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 Happy anniversary. Socks. What am I like? <laughs> Happy anniversary. Get Connor to do that. Where is he? I was thinking maybe we could go for lunch later. The two of us. Get Connor to book somewhere. Let's see, eh? These things take a bit of planning. Hey, hey. morning, rascals! Hey, how do you make a tissue dance? I don't know. You put a little boogie in it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you two. I've got to get them to school. Shoes on, Gina. Good girl. Well, get off, Daddy. <laughs> oh, I was meant to bake cakes for the fair. Just buy some on route and put them in an empty tin. Voila. That'll have to do. Connor, thank goodness. Right, let's get a move on. That can wait. Kiss! Kiss! <laughs> no. Bye. See you. Uh, good morning, Mr. Bellamy. I hope you do not mind. I took the liberty of buying something for the happiness project. Oh, very good. I have been doing some research, and there are a lot of things that you can do to create a positive working environment, well, such as uh, bringing in a dog to work or... This is Tembe. We can't have pets roaming around the place. The health and safety would have a field day. Yeah, uh, yes, I know that. That is why I bought these instead. Mm. But certain members of staff, well, they have been a little resistance to the uh, happiness project, so I thought something tangible would help. Morning. Morning. The chirpy. Yeah, and how are you two this fine morning? Fine, except they've put up temporary traffic lights at the crossroads. It would be faster to walk in. I may have just the remedy. Please, yeah, take one. You too, Dr. Clay. Oh. Really? I thought I was going to go everywhere. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Reed, uh, can I have a word? Yes. Yes, of course. Is that it? Ah, uh, yes, yes, I'm afraid it is. Well, well, perhaps it will give us some time to brainstorm some ideas for the happiness project. Yeah, I'd rather get on my paperwork. Yeah, uh, uh, you <laughs> Bump buds. Pardon? Bump buds. It's uh, it's like a specialised speaker system which carries sound directly to the womb, uh, like uh, music or the sound of your own voice. Right. Well, that all sounds very hip. Not like you at all. Yeah, I've been doing a bit of reading up about it. Like babies have very acute hearing, and it's a way of establishing a bond between parent and baby before birth. But I thought fetal hearing didn't start until much later. Yeah, well, it's not. I'm getting a head start. I presume you're talking to the baby already. I think this baby's heard quite enough of you and me already, don't you? Trust me. Bump buds. <laughs> you later, sweetheart. Oh, Gina, cakes. Uh, cakes? I knew there was something I'd forgotten. 
Oh. Flo, you okay? Mm. I've come over a bit hot. Deep breaths? My heart's racing. Well, could just be low mm. blood sugar. I've got a drop in at the mill today. You should come. Yeah. Really, I'm fine. Where's Zara? She's tucked up in bed, flu. Not the oh. man kind, apparently. Geordie? Mm. Oh, his usual positive self. Why don't you make an appointment? You never rescheduled your last one. Thanks. I've got to get back. I'll see you. It was nice to see you, Mrs. Brennan. Always a pleasure. And Dr. V, you have been run off your feet with patients this morning. Uh, here. Thank you for coming in. For me? Oh, yeah, I have brought one in for everyone. A bit of nature around this place and improve morale and all that. Exactly. Well, I'm glad someone else thinks so. Stop me if I've told you this before, but one of my favourite quotes is from the Dalai Lama. Happiness never decreases by being shared. But that is just beautiful. And what about the saying, happiness is immeasurable? No, that one. Well, it alludes to the idea that since happiness is subjective and impossible to measure with any scientific accuracy, it therefore follows that any attempts to raise said happiness are futile. Well, that was said by a very wise man. The Dalai Lama? Could have been Einstein. Are you sure? You do not fool me, Dr. Heskey. Now, I have been speaking Yeah, I would to love to stay and chit-chat, Mrs. Tembe, but I'm not going to. Yeah, what he said. Happiness is immeasurable. <laughs> Quite like it. Happy anniversary. <laughs> the ink's still wet. <laughs> OK. So you can't be, I forgot. It's hardly surprising, is it? I'm only teasing, sweetheart. Thank you. I was just looking at the trees. Do you remember how pretty the park was last year? I've got a surprise. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Would Madam like some champagne? <laughs> <laughs> How did you manage to set all this up without me knowing? You're not switched on as you might think. Oh! Oi. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> this is lovely. The two of us for a change. Mm. We should do this more often. Hand the kids off on somebody else. Here. Don't look at me like that. This disease is progressing. It's all part of the rich tapestry of life. I know it's hard for you, but I'm worried that if we don't talk about it, you're not going to be prepared. I just hate that this has happened to you. To us. We're a team. We'll get through it together. You and the kids, you've made me so happy. If this is the payoff, then... <sighs> I can deal with it. That's not fair. <laughs> Today's special. Yeah. Let's not spoil it. Let's have a day of fun. I've got a thousand things to do. We could go for a run. Oh. You're worried I'll beat you in my wheel. Don't be daft. You are worried, though, aren't you? You should go. Just because I can't doesn't mean... I don't want to. Stop being stubborn. A run would cheer you up. I don't need cheering up. I don't know why everyone's banging on about my well-being. Who else? Connor. Everyone. I bumped into Daniel earlier. What did he say? Nothing. Don't start. I am not in the mood. I need your help. Yeah. OK, we'll see you then. Goodbye. Liam! All right. Haven't seen you for a while. Ah, uh, well, you know, I hung up my trainers for a bit, you know how it is. What do I keep telling you? Join my club. Helps with the motivation when it's chucking it down. Maybe, maybe. Um, didn't see you on the list? Yeah, I tried, but couldn't get an appointment at the time I wanted. Ah, I'm free now if you want to come through. 
The thing is, I booked him with Dr. V here. Mr. Russell? That's me. Sorry. I don't want to mess him about. I'll book him with you next time. Yeah, sure. What's this? Where are we going? Fun day out. What's he like? Excuse me, love. I need to make another appointment. In a couple of weeks. Yeah, well, I, uh... There you can see Dr. Claire. Oh, no, it's with Dr. Veer. I've seen him a couple of times. Right. Actually, I'd like to switch for good. Do I need to fill out a form or something? Uh, well, no, I will just have to update the system. Are you sure? Very well. Uh, well, you can see Dr. Veer on the 4th at 11 o'clock. Yeah, fine. Is Jimmy about? I will check. Uh, Dr. Clay, have you got a moment? Yeah, come in. Liam, what can I do for you? I didn't want you to have a cob on about before. What are you talking about? Well, me seeing Dr. Veer. Oh, you don't have to explain. I, I did try and book him with you. Seriously, it's fine. But I guess, well... Uh, to be easier to talk to someone who isn't a mate. Exactly. So how are you? Dr. Veer referred me to a specialist. Had one of those colonoscopies. Turns out, I've got Crohn's disease. So it's exactly what we feared it might be. Well, now at least you know maybe that'll help you manage it. So no hard feelings? No, no, of course not. Any road. Dust off your Mizunos, you hear me? Be good to see you back in the park. You take care of yourself. ta -ra. Well, I'm glad you changed your mind. I didn't. I was brought here under false pretenses. So, how can I help? Geordie's making a fuss. That's all. Come on, sweetheart. Now's your chance. What do you want me to say? She never stops. From morning to night, she's looking after everyone else. Never has a break. It's too much. Is that true? Well, there's a lot to organise for the carers, the kids. I guess I'm tired, but I'm coping. You've got to stop putting a gloss on everything. Pretending it's OK. You can't go on like this. OK, Geordie, will you give us a minute, please? Of course. Sorry, can you get the door for me? Sure. Come in. You uh, finished your surgery? Yeah, why? Can I do it then? Do what? Can I talk to Baby Bellamy? Yeah, Baby Bellamy Reed, actually. You've bought them. I, I thought you were just winding me up. Yeah, yeah, these, these deluxe versions and everything. Yes, well, deluxe they may be, but that doesn't mean you're going to have access to my body every time you click your fingers. Yeah, 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 I know that. Right, come on, tuck them in top of your skirt. <sighs> All right. This records everything. Right. Ready? Yeah. <clears throat> Hello, Bellamy. <laughs> this is your father speaking. Dear God. Uh, what can I tell you about myself? Um, I guess um, I like to keep myself fit. Rarely. Although there is room for improvement there. <laughs> um... <laughs> Spreadsheets, yes. <laughs> There's nothing like the, uh, nothing like a colour-coded rotor. Um, oh, yeah, uh, patient profiling. Um, yes, it's uh, possible with the right system in place to uh, analyse the different comings and goings of different patients in different weather conditions. Oh, stop it! <laughs> yes, uh... Emma? Are you ready? 
Clue? There's a lot to juggle. That's all. Well, Geordie is clearly concerned about you. You're going through a difficult time. It's okay if you're struggling. Geordie's the one with a terminal illness. What I'm going through doesn't compare. Yes, but you are living with the disease. Are you getting enough support? In terms of carers, yeah. Do you get to go out? Do you get to see your friends? It doesn't work like that. Just, um, just remind me again um, when Geordie was diagnosed. July, last year. That's it. And you, you quit your job? Mm. We wanted to make the most of the time that he could walk. We ticked a few things off the bucket list. Did a bareback horse riding along the beach in Blackpool, of all places. Huh. And now you're here. It must be hard. He just adapted. Part of the rich tapestry of life, he says. I wish I could see it like that. Do you tell him what it's like from your side? He's got enough on his plate. Flo, I think you could be showing the first signs of depression. So it's really important that you let him know how you feel, that you talk to him. You're not going to put me on pills, are you? It's so important that you look after yourself a little bit better. Make sure you get enough rest. Schedule downtime. There is so much to do. You've got to look after yourself because the MND isn't going anywhere. I'm well aware of that. What I would like to do is book another appointment for you next week to see how you're getting on. Is that okay? Geordie brought you here. He's trying to help. You've got to meet him halfway. Okay. Zara's still in bed, so I'm going to pick Joe up from school. Why don't I pick up Gina and Will at the same time and drop them around? Oh, no. Uh, thanks, anyway. It's no trouble, really. Remember what I said about doing everything yourself. Okay. Thank you. Good. Okay, I'll see you. See you, Geordie. Thank you, Daniel. You were with Mrs. Whitaker a very long time. Last time my husband was here, he walked in. Uh, I did not mean to overhear, but uh, he's Dr. Carmichael, all right? Uh, flu. I'm off in a bit. What's this? The Happiness Project. Please. What a good idea. Thank you. Good boy. Hi. Hi. There you go. You present? Oh. Thanks again. No problem. Do you want to come in for a cuppa or do you need to get back to Zara? You kidding? Doctors make the worst patients. And let's just say that Zara is a very good doctor. After you. Hi. I am. Um, I'm sorry that I stood you up at lunchtime. I'm, I'm. Well, I was a little distracted. Oh, I heard the laughing. It just how it makes me laugh sometimes. That's all. Oh. He's taking this baby stuff so seriously, you know, he's treating it all with his usual precision. That sounds like Howard. Yeah, but what's he going to be like as a birthing partner? Never mind changing nappies, he'll treat it like a military operation. We'll have me off caffeine next. OK, enough. If you think you're going to have me believing that you're not loving every minute of this, you've got another thing coming, lady. All right. I admit it. I am loving it. What's this? I was in Seville after the marathon. Ah. We ran a couple back in the day. Impressive. Do you remember the worst thing about them? Hitting the wall. It's hard to explain what that feels like. But this is worse than 26 miles. It's never ending. Let's not talk about it. You now. never want to talk about it. You just bottle it all up. Not now, OK? Sorry. We used to talk about everything. We'll get through. Do you take sugar? No, thank you. Oh, sorry, I'd better get this. Hello? Yeah. 
You're struggling to muddle through now. Later, okay? I've got something for you. I wasn't sure whether to give it you or not, but... What was this? Card first. Jordi. This isn't easy. I'm grateful for everything that we've shared, but I want a divorce. Is this for real? Do you want a divorce? Hardest thing I've ever had to do. And that's saying something. Oh, thanks. I don't get it. Why? Such a mess. What on earth do you think? It might be for the best. Man, before he was diagnosed, we were happy. This isn't what I want. Could be that he's doing this for you. Thank you. No worries, you take care. Got anything nice planned for this evening, Dr. Clay? Uh, no, nothing special. Point? Yeah, I fancy that. Um, get Sid to come. Oh, no, Sid's still chocker. What? Oh, he clearly didn't listen to Zara's rants about timekeeping. Well, he's keeping very much to schedule. He's just popular. Mm, I'm popular, and yet I always make it to the pub. He will learn. You coming? I'll, um, I'll catch you up. So he's back in the swing of things. It seems, yeah, no. Oh, the patient feedback's through the roof. The, they think that he's thorough and compassionate. It probably helps that he's a bit of a cutie. <laughs> getting a booking's like getting an audience with the Pope. Hmm. I didn't mean uh, um, th that... Uh, no, because patients think you're really experienced. Thanks, Karen. They like an experienced doctor. I know that things have been difficult lately, but this isn't the answer. What's happening to us? This disease isn't a prison for me. But it is a prison for you. We've been through so much, me and you and the kids. Don't... Don't make it harder than it needs to be. Please sign them. I can't. I love you. You don't talk to me anymore. You barely look at me. Every time I think about what it's going to be like with you not here, it breaks my heart. It's like you only see the illness when you look at me. And that you've already started grieving. <laughs> I couldn't do this without you. I know it's hard to believe, but it is still me in here. <laughs> We're a team, remember? Please don't do this. You have to let me be there for you. Can you do that? <laughs> then come here. Um, look, I've been thinking about what you were saying about singing to the baby, and, um, well, yes, it, it might be a good idea. So, any suggestions? Jill Rock. Uh, suspicious man. Love me tender. Hmm. 
Anything that isn't Elvis. Ah. Uh, I got you, babe. Oh, no. I just thought I thought it couldn't get any cornier. Go on, you know where to go. <clears throat> they say we're young, but we don't know. We won't find out until we grow. Na, 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 na. Well, I don't know if all that's true. Cause baby got me and baby I got you. <laughs> babe. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. So you're gonna be like when there's two of you ganging up on me. <laughs> I suppose I could, Be but... in reception in 20 minutes before I'll come and find you. Do I have a choice? <laughs> what? I was right. You don't like Sid. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs>